was no girls team at my school. I was only allowed to train, not to play tournaments, until one day when he had a friendly match with the nearby school, of which the coach didn't have any options for substitutions. He had to put me in. That's when I scored my first two goals. My first time when I joined Street Set, it was very hard. Like, I faced so many challenges. But at the end of the day, I kept adjusting because um, I, I began to get used to the people that I was playing with. And this gives me much power to, to go for what I want to be a professional player so that I can be like Banyana Banyan and Lionesses. They love this team. It's my personal project, but the way it's run, it's run like a community. It's a community revolution in progress. The parents, the players themselves, um, they love their team. that is playing a good part in delaying child pregnancies, in discouraging um, substance abuse. I always keep myself busy so that I avoid peer pressure because I can say there's been a high teenage pregnancy in this country. We as girls, we give each other pressure like when someone's got iPhone 11 and I'm using a Nokia, then I always wonder where did she get that? At the end of the day, those people don't give you their money or whatever they want to buy for you. They expect something in return and the only thing that they expect from return is you sleep with them. There's one reason that I've always supported her. So I think I've helped you so much. She's a teenager, but she's not like other teenagers. Soka has helped her with discipline and is taking up most of her time. If she's not at school, she's playing soccer. So that takes most of her time. And I don't, I'm not saying she's not, she don't do boys, but she's not like other teenagers. She's always busy from soccer to school, from school to soccer. I don't have a problem with boys. Schools, especially the ones that are serious with their football, they always knock on our doors when they want players. So a majority of our girls, when they are shining, uh, they are offered scholarships. Tanzania. <laughs> I know that there is life after soccer. So when I'm done schooling, I want to start aerospace engineering. And I've jotted down and planned that after writing my O-level examinations, I'm going to apply for a scholarship like in United States, Spain, France. I'll be applying for a football scholarship so that I'll be studying aerospace engineering at the same time playing football.